Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is why your wireless mesh, mesh access points in Unify may not be working correctly. So the very first thing that you should always do when you're having problems with your hardware is check your physical layer. Is the cable good? Test the cable, swap the cable. Does the access point have power? If all of those things check out, then what you're going to do is you're going to head on over to Unify. You're going to cruise on over to Settings, System, and Advanced. And this is the most second most common reason we see issues besides bad cabling or you know some sort of physical issue. Access points stolen, not powered on, whatever. Uh, under System and Advanced, we've got these options down here. First of all, if you don't have wireless meshing enabled, you need to enable that. If you don't have that enabled, your access points are not going to be able to wireless uplink or wireless mesh. They'll have to be hardwired back to your Unify system. Then the second thing is this connectivity monitor type right here. And if you hover over the tooltip, it tells you that this is the IP address that your mesh APs will ping or verify. They use the word verify their connection. If the access point cannot verify, it will disconnect and enter an isolated state. Well, there are plenty of reasons that if your gateway for some reason goes down, you would still want wireless connectivity. It could be because you've got an internal Plex server. If you've got some reason your devices need to keep communicating, could be cameras, all of these things, right? So what you might want to do is if you've had this problem because your your USG, your your UXG, or your router that you're using, this by default uses the gateway. If that has gone down and your wireless access points then stop broadcasting the SSID, you can change this to a custom IP. So if you have an NVR internally, if you have a Plex server, if you have any of these other devices that are not your gateway, you can change the, the monitor address to that and and right here, the tooltip here tells you your wireless APs will ping this device to monitor uplink activity. So you can put a different IP in here that is not the gateway. A lot of people will use Unify access points and may not use the switches, may not use the gateways. Now, that doesn't mean that this only works if you're using that, but this uses the, the gateway IP address. I'm just saying that we've got to recognize that Unify access points are used with other equipment as well. Um, and it could be who knows what's going on inside the network. This is one way to take, you know, the uh, onus off of that gateway always having to be up so that your, your wireless network is available. So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. Let me know how many times you've run into this. And let me know what other types of issues you've run into this kind of that are similar to this. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you need us to check out your wireless network, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form on the front page. And also join our community at community.willyhow.com. Uh, we've got a great bunch of people over there, very knowledgeable. Come on over, sign up, ask your questions, participate. There's really no such thing uh, as, as a, a stupid question. There's really not. We've all started somewhere, and uh, we're all in this together, right? And they say that rising tides lift everybody's boats. So come on over, ask your questions, and we'll see if we can help you out. And as always, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.